Uh, well, before we go any further, I just have to say, hello, it's Steph and Satani at a Comedy Advice Podcast. This is the first episode of the new year, and I couldn't think of a better guest to bring back, to lasso in. I had to get my sheep dogs to corral him and bring him into the studio. Back Lassie and Lasso and Lassettes. It's Gavin Bloom, everybody. Hello. How you doing, bud? Oh, man. Uh... I was so excited that you asked me to come back on the show and sometimes I just need I just need that validation and I got to know how many return guests have you ever had I've only had two or three only two or three I had um Adam Ray who was a very nice comedian I had this guy named Jamie Lisso who came back and then Gavin Bloom Well uh, seeing as I'm the third in line, uh, <laughs> go fuck yourself, you know? <laughs> Thanks for thinking of me. They did say no, and I thought, you know, <laughs> who would be better <laughs> than Gavin Bloom besides Adam Ray and Jamie Lizzo and Mo from the radio show and just, you know, five others. I mean, but... we could we could take the time to go through the list, but that's not your style. That's definitely not my style. You wouldn't do that to your guest? Unless you're a Patreon member paying $5 a month. The bonus content is I'm going to read through that whole list. I've got it in this adorable little scroll, and I've written it in calligraphy. Are you on Patreon? I'm on Patreon. Congratulations. Thank you so much. How do you get there? That was what you were going to ask next, I'm sure. You and you read it in my eyes. You just go, oh, Reddit is a favorite place of mine, and you yeah. guys can see more content like that on patreon.com slash... I don't have a Patreon yet, but you know, when I do, it'll I, be great. I like that you are projecting into the new year. The first episode of the new year. You know what? Just tell us how your year is going to tell us how 2022 is oh, going to go for you. So I have to tell you first. So this is a strange position that we're in because we are in the middle. We are traveling through the flux of time because this episode is going to come out January 3rd. Whoa. So it will be 2022, but we yeah. right now are stuck within the, the just dying grasp of the claws of 2021. So oh. we're just escaping. And I feel like if we harness some of that power, manifest how our new year is going to be, it's going to be just as jolly as we had projected. You make 2021 sound terrifying. <laughs> well, uh, uh, who was a terrifying claws? Year? Claws, yeah. Well, no, no, not, well, not terrifying claws. I was talking about the claws of like a cat. A cute little kitten, Aww. just hold, thinking that we're little balls of yarn, Aww, and just that, but, hey, come back here, come isn't... back here. It dies, obviously, because it's twenty twenty one. Now, now I'm thinking about a cat dying. Well, fuck you. I don't know how to please you, Gavin. I don't yeah. know. Should I go like with uh, what's gonna die that would make you happy? Because twenty twenty one's gonna die. There's gonna be no more. It's gonna be just like Graham Grams. You know, I was always taught never to wish death on anyone or anything. But when you when you ask me a question point blank like what could die that would make me happy? I really have to take a look at myself and really and really think these these hard questions. I don't I don't know. Can we can we circle back to that? We can definitely circle back to that after a break from our sponsor. All right, so did you have time to think about it? <laughs> <laughs> so, Gavin, yeah. I have to say, we've got a fun-filled episode. We are like a Frito-Lays with 30% extra chips. Fucking love it, man. Oh, it's going to be oh so crunchy, a little salty, but delicious. And people are going to feel a little bloated afterwards because it's just that filling. We've got subs. We've almost got too much. What sustenance. kind of oil is it made with? Hydrogenated canola. So does that, call the, does that cause the, the anal leakage? A little bit of anal leakage, yeah. I think I need, um, at the very beginning, and I don't know legally where it needs to be, but just the really fast voice, maybe if I could have you do it, where it's oh, like, sure. a comedy advice podcast does cause anal leakage and other side effects. Please visit your doctor before listening to and consuming a comedy advice podcast. And that's great. Yeah, let's it. do, let's seriously do that at the end. I love that. Okay. okay. Beautiful. Well, we've got some other fun segments in between, just full of flavor. And this first one is a new one for a comedy advice podcast, but an old one if you guys are a fan of old Steph and of Gavin Bloom, because I run a little old show called Trash or Treasure. Next show is January 1 1, 
That's the 11th for people that put numbers together. And it is going to be a blast where we talk about things like trending topics and talk about if they're trash or treasure. So I wanted my good pal Gav and I to talk about some things that we might think are trash or treasure. And oh. you guys can decide if you think they're trash or treasure. Just follow us in the comments of Instagram <clears throat> at a comedy advice podcast or at Satani or Gavin Bloom Comedy. Or is that your Instagram handle? Yeah, still is for okay. the time being. Gavin nice. Bloom comedy. Well played, sir. You remembered that. Oh, man. This steel trap. It's The hair just pulls back ah. the follicles so that the brain has room to grow. Can I also just say, I'm, I've got to say this because it, it wouldn't be me if I didn't. Uh, but the last time that you had me on, early October, and then I think that it aired sometime in November. Right. And I had some comedy shows coming up, which I plugged, but they were over by the time the episode played so tonight do you have shows no oh <laughs> <laughs> you see you caught me at a bad time this is this is kind of oh man i feel like a bad boyfriend where it's like i had things that were coming up and it was just not a good time for me and that was when i had a lot of episodes in the backlog and now i'm struggling to get one or two extra episodes but you see this is a perfect way to start the year because i i don't know if you're if you're good talking about like your comedy advice podcast resurgence ideas oh yes you know like am, it's a good it's a fresh start man i am so good and i want to start it so fresh it's going to be like a barrel of flour which i think is the proper container for flour and what i'm going to do is i don't know yet really but i'm going to stop having those big tiny guests that you've seen on netflix and blah 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 because i I'm lazy and I don't like to do all my research. So I like to just let it all flow just like 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 a, a menstrual flow. Like a menstrual flow. I like to just be bloated and eat chocolate and then scream, cry and laugh all within 30 seconds. That got really really offensive. I thought it was uh biological poetry actually. Thank you so much. Yeah. It was the uh, the Sangue Sonnet, as mm, they call it. I like that. Sanguinis Sonnet, I think, in Latin. You know, it takes it takes two people to cause offense, right? Uh, one person to intend to offend, and then the other person to intend to receive that offense. That's true. And uh, I, I don't think that you said anything that was negative or hurtful or damaging to anybody um if anything you you basically told your entire listeners that that you you have menstrual flow i so, i i agree with you i feel like there obviously is womb for interpretation but i did not offend anyone period <laughs> all right let's continue with the flow of this podcast <laughs> Gavin. Yeah. Hey, buddy. I haven't given you any time in advance to think about things. So I have some things <laughs> that are trash or treasure. Great. And we can talk about them yeah, when you yeah. think about it. And if you have any extras, feel free to, but the, to throw but, them in. But we're not competing now. We're just having no. a discussion. Right? No, we can have a discussion. Okay. We might play devil's advocate if we both think that something is okay. is treasure. Then we can both see why it's trash. Explore that. Just really, okay. we're trying to open our minds and your minds we want everything to flow nicely and sometimes i'm we've got so some... glad you said that because my mind was flowing in the general direction of your mind i want our flows to collide yeah i want my room to be painted with our flows we want to be on the same cycle i that's exactly what i want yeah and i feel like for that to happen we need to just scour every single crevice and block spot and just scratch through it so it unblocks. And so we just, we're, it's just, we're gushing with knowledge. I think that is very healthy. I agree. Okay. So this first trash or treasure, or um, this first trash or treasure topic, Canadians. Oh. We have a very special place in our heart and our home, the Sonoran Desert, for Canadians because they come here, they spend billions of dollars every year in the winter. The snowbirds come down and they just hog up all the space on the highways. But maybe they bring some sweetness, just like the maple syrup that they tend to hoard in their country. So, Gavin, I don't know if you have any particular 
thoughts on whether Canadians are trashes or treasures. Hmm. Leaning one way or another, immediate response, trash or treasure? I would go treasure. Wow, okay. Yeah. Please do uh, uh, talk a little And more. That's, that's immediate response. Fair. That's but totally if I had fair. time to think of it, I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know how to answer that. You might, like a raccoon, just find your way in the trash can and say, mm, Canadians. I'd be, I'd be scavenging uh, for, for some... Your adorable little paws, just like the adorable paws of 2021, would just be yeah. clinging on to reasons why Canadians are trash. I would be, I would be needing with my little adorable paws oh. in the in the garbage can, dude. Just oh. hoping to snuggle up to some I Canadian treasure. I don't think raccoons are cute, but I think their little paws are so cute. Yeah. I think it would be so cool if just for one day, for one day, I could have raccoon paws instead of my meaty hands and flanges you know everybody who has new year's resolutions they're so overrated but i think you got something and i think that you need to focus on 2022 to make that happen even just for a day i watch international soccer and okay they okay. Uh, brag rag rag no, brag brag rag. yeah we get it mr worldwide yeah you watch i've been outside the country <laughs> okay I was, uh, I was born in another country. I was born in Africa. I'm internationally experienced. I remember when you had your mustache, and I was thinking, God damn, this guy looks like he could be a French spy. I just, the only thing that was missing was the cigarette with the filter. You know, I don't smoke. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry to ruin that for you. <laughs> Maybe you could vape. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know was... what, Stefan, my friend Stefan, I love. I love your little reactions, man. <laughs> they are so perfect, man. They're so on point. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't smoke, and I, I've never been to France. Okay, now you're coming down to earth. We, yeah. uh, you, you were ascending like Gabriel the angel. I'm not a spy. I live a very boring life. I go to work. The whole reason I asked you on this podcast. <laughs> Is to are you a spy? Yes or no? If if you put a gun to my head, no. <laughs> <laughs> but if you if you take the gun away, maybe. Who's oh. asking? Well, what's the, what's the password? I <laughs> spy with my little eye. <laughs> a real spy. Anyway, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I also no. want to interrupt you one more time because when you said put a gun yeah. to my head, I went to go get a beard trim this, today, this morning. So you actually went to go get one. Yes. I went to go get a beard and then trimmed it. So wait, 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 wait. When you said that you had an appointment for a beard trimming, you weren't joking. You actually had an appointment for a beard trimming. So this is the whole this is the whole story. This is what everyone is dying to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Your boy Steph yeah. thought, hey, my hair is long enough now. I feel like I can get rid of I can get the ponytail and donate it to children that can't grow hair. Gonna give it to those in need. Then I, I scheduled an appointment for the haircut, snipping off the tail, and then go, getting a little beard trim, just fixing it up. Then my wife said, are you sure? It's taken you two years to get your hair to finally make you look like a decent human being. And I said, well, if you put it like that, I'm not ready to let go of it. So, sorry, kids, you're going to have to stay bald for one more year. But I didn't get the haircut, and I ended up changing the appointment so that I got my beard trimmed. So you, you don't trim your beard yourself? I do, usually. This is my first beard trim in two years. It sounds like I'm shaming you. And, yes, it does sound like <laughs> that. It sounds very much like that, and, and I which is fair. And I recognize that. And where it's it started out that way, I, I retract the shame. I'm not shaming. Sometimes no, no, no. Bring you, it on. I'm going to rub it all over me. Cause I, I, you you got to treat yourself sometime. Yeah, but if, if you have a beard like this, this is barely, this is what, uh, 14 millimeters? You know, more or less? I mean, eyeballing it, yeah. Yeah, right? You know? I mean, rounding it up to the nearest 14. Yeah. But if I had a gigantic beard, like a dwarvish beard, mm. I would probably go get it trimmed. Because I don't know if I could trust myself to oh, get the nice... That's a good point. The nice trimming. But this length, dude, I just run... I can even do some sophisticated techniques, like a three heater, 
a four here and oh. leave the five here. See, now that's that's just uh, that's too much. That's too much. Um, that's too complex for me to even grasp. This is like getting into the Tony Hawk Pro Skater, where it's beyond the kickflip now, Ooh. and now I'm I'm going into the 360. I'm doing the more complicated moves. It's like X up up Y, and I got 400 points. And then you were like X up up. Why not get someone else to do it for me? Exactly. So then I ended up doing that. Yeah. And a number of things went wrong. Oh, no. First off, she was very, she was so timid and shy and was shaking a little bit. <gasps> oh. And I was like, do I, I know I intimidate people, but you can relax near me. That seems to make her less relaxed. And so then she had me sitting. She put scathing hot towels across my face. Scathing. Scathing. And she was like, is that too hot? And I said, no, because I don't want to complain about a hot towel. And I, I'm like, no, I'll, I'll, it's fine. I'm a man. And so she put numerous scathing hot towels. And then she started shaving. And at that point, my neck was back like this. And thinking of spies and thinking of things. I've just seen too many movies where somebody's gotten their throat slit. And Dumb I feel and dumber. Like my, I've not seen that movie. No? no. Okay. Okay. But. First thing I think of when you say dumb and dumber is like throat slit, of course. So I feel like exposed like this, she could easily, if I was like, yeah, the towels are too hot. She's like, what a dick. And then slit my throat. I mean, that's what would set anyone off the edge, you know, over the edge is, is uh, just, yeah. You know, since you asked, the, the towels are a little hot. What a fucking prick taking his life now. Done. Just like wow. 2021. Done. Um. So that's what I was afraid. And then she could have, it could have been a setup. She could have been like Judas that gives me the hug and is like, I love you so much. And then once I'm open, she's like, come on, get them Romans. And then they just, you know, I wish you'd called me while you were in the chair. So then I could make you feel a little better because think about this. She's just nervous. Cause I I'm assuming that there, there's a wall of mirrors in front of you. Right. I couldn't see the skating hot towels were covering you. You couldn't, but mirrors so everyone in the place could see exactly what was happening lots of witnesses she's not going to take your life when other people are waiting in line for their appointment too you but. never know man and i would have called i thought about calling you and i was i i even i said siri call gavin blue no i'm gonna stop because back to that original statement you looked like a spy with the mustache so i didn't know if I could trust you for I know, it could have been an inside job. Exactly. You could have just been like, ooh la la, I am French. And then just I would done have it, been like extinguished your cigarette in my throat oh, and then ran away. I mean the dream. That's that's your calling card. You extinguish your cigarette in the wound that you've inflicted. It would have been like uh Stefan. Stefan. You're it's more the... like Steph gone. <laughs> <laughs> Here today, Steph gone tomorrow. <laughs> You're going to be the sole part of the plan. Uh, you have nothing to worry about, mon ami. Sacre bloom. <laughs> now, now, sit the slot. <laughs> Slit it. Do it now. Yeah. Damn, All part dude. of the plan. Oh. I want to ask you, though, uh, when your wife said you finally look like a decent human being, did she say that in Portuguese? Because it's a beautiful language. She did. And I was so enchanted by it that the, the actual juice of the words <laughs> almost poured out before it hit my ears. Because I thought, oh, my God, what a just uh, a sugar coated language. You know what? I think I think <laughs> yes. you nailed it. Conversations with Stefan is like uh, communicating with Gushers candy. That's what it is. It's just bursting my, my with favorite. juices and sweetness and sugar mm, mm. and just so sweet it's tart so sweet oh i love it right? i love it so, so sweet, sweet you tart. gotta go like God mm. damn, that's sweet Fucking <laughs> just, sweet. oh that just <sighs> bursted in my mouth that just I, yeah it's like somebody's insulting me in portuguese <laughs> so sweet <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> okay anyway so that's where were we <laughs> i got my beard trimmed good um canadians looks tri good though thanks i don't feel <laughs> <laughs> no. 
<laughs> it really does. It really does look good. That, <laughs> it really does. I, I'm going to leave them a two-star review. I'm going to leave them a two-star review. Can I quickly tell you about an Please. experience that I had at, uh, I think it was Supercuts. Uh, oh, I think I know where this is going. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, my gosh, dude. Okay. It it was, you, it was a while ago. Can I ask you really quickly, do you have a standard barber, like someone you go to? Uh, you just... Since lockdown, yes. Okay. Only that long. Okay. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. It's me. <laughs> oh, you cut your own hair? I do, yeah. Dude, that's great. Hey. It's, hey. A, it's a straight rate. It's like a fade. Is it a fade or is it just one length? You know, I was a little modest when I, when I was talking about the complexities of the beard and all that stuff. Like, okay, I can't go through. Give me a give me a level one on the on the sides and a and a and a five on the front. I can't do that. But when it comes to my my noggin, was that me by the way? Yeah. That was a bit, I, I mean that <laughs> five on your front, the front the sides. I mean I am kind of like that. That was a pretty no, you nailed it. That wasn't you, that was me. <laughs> that was me hearing you where it was like, "Oh my god, this is like it's all this math and I'm I'm dying here." <laughs> oh, just, <laughs> just, oh, okay. But but yeah, I'm I don't I don't know. I think I think uh having thinning hair and and going bald is kind of a blessing to okay. to do your own hair. And, you know, in about 20, 30 years, when you experience that... It's happening already. It's starting to... Oh, you mean out. your forehead? No, that's normal, <laughs> Stefan. That's normal. Well, You don't have any flecks of gray in your beard or your hair? I've got one gray spot. Fuck you. <laughs> it's a special spot. It's where a mole used to reside and i researched it because i had this gray patch it, it really is pronounced when i have the razor fade because it looks like i look like dennis rodman that has commitment issues because he just started with one gray spot and was like oh no no so it was right there and i was like why do i have a gray spot and then there's a mole right there and i think i learned that when you have a mole and it dies all the pigment around it also dies so things be it, the hair is white that grows around it. Wow. Yeah. So all this talk about spies, you had a mole infiltrate your scalp. But I killed it. And you got it. I, you, <clears throat> you spied with your little eye something that was mole. And, and, and you know what I did? I got it all comfortable. I put a hot towel over it. And then I had it just in the relaxed position. And then I slit its throat. That is violent. Hey, you know what? It's what you got to do when you find a mole. I mean, psychologically and physically violent. It was rough. The, if you guys want to go to my TikTok, you can see the video of it. I do. It's. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. So that's that's a fun fact about me. Anyway, so you went to Supercuts. Yeah, I was I, I was in my early twenties. Okay. And I don't know. Now that I think of it, the story probably sucks. But she made me cut my own hair. She was a horrible, horrible person. I've okay. Yeah. Well, the way that you framed it, yeah. it's set up for pretty amazing story because she made me. I went to yeah. a supercuts and she made me cut my own hair. Yep. That's pretty phenomenal. She just. Do, do you have a stand up bit about this? No. Okay. No, I don't. Continue. Let's decide if we can pluck. Um. Yeah. I, I got, <laughs> okay, I, all right. I Never got, mind. Gonna... I got the VIP treatment and she made me cut my own hair because she she could not follow my directions and my directions weren't bad. I'm like I just wanted, you know, short on the sides and back. Yeah. And short on the top but just long enough to comb. You okay. know, pretty pretty simple like this. No, short on the back and sides. Like this. Shorter. Short, you you know you're not touching it at all. Try cut some hair, <laughs> there, you know. Was she afraid and of she, hair? No, but she was getting very impatient with me, and then she just handed me the scissors. Here, you do it. And so I'm like, uh, like a like a scared child. Uh, oh my, my god! And then I fucking tipped her too because I was too much of a. What's a good word that we can use that's not offensive? Uh, 
Um, I would say probably what's the smallest size of beer? I you, you were a twelve ounce. I was being a twelve ounce of <laughs> Coors Light. I was a twelve ounce of Coors Light in a sippy cup. The mountains weren't even blue. No, it was warm. It was lukewarm, tepid. Uh, Coors Light in a sippy cup. Oh God! And At least you weren't being a natty light. I, I wasn't a natty light. Okay, that's fair. But you know, like I just, and then like even after that, like she goes and sits down in a huff, and then her, her hair cutting friends are consoling her. She's like, like like I was a customer from hell or some shit, and I. I really, really make an effort to be as pleasant and what as possible. Right, but, right, yeah. But she's the only person who who <clears throat> who who didn't get those hair cutting instructions correct in my S life ever. You, you see, Gavin, I'm super happy and grateful that from that experience, after you got your hair cut, you weren't like, you know what, could you trim the beard too? Because I feel like she may have gone for the throat. Wouldn't that have been hilarious because I didn't have any <laughs> facial hair? I want you to trim <laughs> the beard, please. You don't have any trim the fucking beard. I pay you to trim the beard. Here, let me show you how. Just kidding. You do it. When I say cut, you say how low. Yeah. Okay? That's and how it works. So right? help me God if you fucking slice my skin. If I see any blood, I'm going to fucking hair your ass. I'm from South Africa, okay? Yeah. I watched football internationally yeah i've been to europe i've just blown your mind because i'm white <laughs> you trim my beard do you want to do you want to do a little role play should we should we reenact that scenario of this person let's got... let's try it this okay. is a good improv she exercise was, she was from where um I, I i kind of feel that she was from all right, we're going to change it. Um, okay. She's from... Uh, Scottsdale? Okay, she could be from Scottsdale. Okay. All right, hold on. Oh, let me get my Karen. All right. Can we take that out then? <laughs> Which part? The part? Oh, yeah, we can, okay. we can okay. definitely. All right, <clears throat> let me get my Karen. <clears throat> so wait, are you, are, you the, are you the hairdresser or are you me? Mm. Who do you want to be? Well, this is how a scene goes. So somebody initiates the scene, and then I have to yes and. All right, all right. Hey, I'm Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hold on. No. Uh, hey, welcome to Supercuts. My name's Tracy, and I'm from Scottsdale. Is your name... Gavin? Uh, it's Gavin. All right, Gavin. Come on over here. It's the 36th chair on the left. Okay. How are you doing today, Tracy? I can't talk right now. Super busy with clients. Just oh, asking okay. me to cut the hair. And, you know, it's just been a little snip here, a little snip there. And some clients getting snippy. So I don't want to hear no snip and no snap. You hear? Sure. I'm very easy. All right. So super cuts. We're going to do a super job. How do you want to cut today? I would just like it very short on the sides and back and just a little trim on the top, just long enough to comb, you know, but. Okay. Okay. A little, okay. I... Here, here's a picture too. Okay. I'm to show you a picture. Okay. Is this a picture? Oh. All right. Is that a uh, Jonah Hill? No. Is this Henry Cavill? No. Well, who's, the, is that you? That's me. What, what, the last time I got my, my hair cut the way I want it cut. That's pretty fucking smart. You know, I feel like, as a side note, you know, I'm still in this Tracy character, but I feel like, you know, after you get a good haircut, you should take a picture of yourself. I don't do that. I just take pictures of other people and say, this is how I want to look. I think I think it's a great idea, Tracy. That's why I did it. That, all right. Good job. All right. So I heard what you said. Let's uh, snippy snip snips. So here's your head, Gavin. Is like that? Is that how sure you want it? Um. No, usually they they it's a little it's a little shorter. Okay, all right, all right. Hold on. Let me get my comb. Oh my gosh, your hair is so long, Gavin. How long have you been backpacking in Europe? 
I've, I've never been to Europe. Oh, okay. How long have you been backpacking in downtown Tempe? Uh, you know, about 30 years. Okay, all right. Good? All right, that'll be thirty nine ninety nine. dollars um, I'm sorry, Tracy. Like, I, I like where you're going with this, but I, they, they usually use the clippers. Um, just like a little shorter, please. Yeah, just kind of, you know... Uh, I, I don't know what the number the number system is, but not not buzzed, but just shorter. I have never been disrespected this much in my entire life and my eighteen weeks of hair cutting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I if you want to do it so badly, take the scissors that I forgot to disinfect what and you do it yourself. Really? really? Okay. You know what? Actually, do it on me. Can you cut your cut how you want your hair on me? Okay. All right. Well, I guess um, here you put on put on this little yeah. protective. Put on the bib bib that says yeah. "I love Scottsdale, Scottsdale yeah. girl forever." All right, Tracy. This is my first time, so you know, go easy on me. But uh, you just make yourself comfortable. It's not the first time somebody's told me that. <laughs> you mind if I smoke in here? It's your shop. <laughs> Technically not, but you know. Eh. Will uh, I be able to get my hair cut after this? It... Probably not. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, you have really nice hair. Thank you. Thank you. You forgot to do the shampoo and conditioning treatment. I. You want that? Uh, you know what? For the sake of this bit, I think I'm good. Let's just let's just go straight to the snip. I don't like any foreplay. Let's just go straight to the snip. Okay, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it the way I want it, right? And right. Show you. Right. So right. I've got these these clippers here. Right. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna go on the sides. Okay. I don't. Uh, Is it on? Did you flip it I, on? You know what? I think I think that you have. Could could you plug it in for me, please? I, I think that's okay. Thank you. Plugged in. I oh, so how's your day going? This is great. Now, there, you see how, uh, you see how it's like really short, but. It's like a really nice clean fade, but it's not to the skin. Uh, that That's what I want on the sides. Can you please do that for me? Did you see? Everybody in this room, how he fucked up my hair. You get out of here, sir. You pay me my thirty nine ninety five plus tip, and then you get the fuck out. You are never allowed in the supercuts for the rest of your fucking life. You hear that? Gavin, Gav out. Gav out. <laughs> <laughs> <Fucking hell. laughs> you don't have to tell me twice tracy I'll, I'll never come back i promise i promise i'll never come back that oh. was exactly how it went <laughs> <laughs> it felt therapeutic for me i, I feel like we we really traversed the planes of time and were able to go into these roots of bitterness that you had and just pull them out you know i i, I think, would be bitter i think i've it. forgiven her but it was traumatic it was a little bit i did carry it with me a little bit uh a chip on my shoulder perhaps i i i feel like for sure because i couldn't even tell i don't know when it comes to haircuts i just feel vulnerable and i feel like i can't tell them because mm -hmm. so, the the worst my biggest fear in that is to me, for me to be like, I want this a little shorter. I, I feel like you did this wrong, or it's uneven. And then them being yeah. like, <laughs> and then just totally they just do being the horse so thing. And f yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I then you have to feed them a carrot while they're just <laughs> yeah. And then they're they're fixing your hair and they're feeling. and and stroke their mane. I can't forget about that, which is really tough to do because they're hovering all over you with both their hands doing things to your head, and you're you're like trying to caress their head. It's so and, hard to be and, stable. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, nay, just as impossible. Just, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That was just a side trot, but. <laughs> you know, I feel. How long have we been going for? 40. I feel like this might. Is there anything else you want to talk about, Gavin? Because I feel like this just might be a good organic ending. To this. Well, <laughs> talk about haircuts. You know, I, I think that 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 explains why it was so difficult for me to ask for them to make improvements. And oftentimes since then, I would leave a barber shop um, with a smile, but really not satisfied. On the inside. Yeah. Just because like, you know, they don't want to be like, I've been cutting my, I've been cutting hair for like 50 years. This little shit's going to tell me that I'm not doing it right. You know, that's a good Tracy impression. I don't know. That's that's the same one you did, wasn't <laughs> it? Was it? The same one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like. She was very from Boston. I thought she was. Yeah, but yeah. She, she's from Scottsdale for the purposes of this. It's one of the boroughs of Scottsdale. It's it's New Boston. Yeah, I like. It's... That's a very fun. It's a very fun character. Oh, thank you. I think that we should dive back into the trash or treasure for the Canadians. I think we should. Least. We should, and I feel like to be give give the listeners uh, what they want since we are about 40 minutes in usually during the day we have breakfast lunch dinner but this is kind of in between lunch and dinner and in the uk it's what they call <laughs> tea time i tried to, i'm sorry that I, try that I tried again to go Stephen. british hold on no try it again <laughs> tea time okay <laughs> <laughs> i think i think I think I was an upper crust British man on the brink of an O. And a stroke. And a, stro a stroke. Mm. <laughs> Tea time. <laughs> so, for no other reason. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to limit it to being British, but we can be a different character for this trash or treasure because obviously we have opinions of our own, but I feel like it's a good way to express yourself to be. You know what? I If you and. If you and oh my god, I and all of the other people, Lamar, you, yeah, if you guys decide uh, to ever have me on a trash or treasure again, I would love to do it as hey, a character. Any dude, the, okay, February, we have our lineup for January, but February, okay, I'll, I'm gonna talk to Lamar about this. We will we'll come up with something. I do not want to be billed as Gavin Bloom, okay, okay. Maybe we could – Could you? Be, would you be a French spy? We'll talk. Okay. We'll right. talk about it. Right. Maybe we'll keep it as a surprise. Okay. That's probably better. Yeah. I ruin things immediately, so it'll be good to just keep it confidential. Hey, man, you, you've never cut my hair to supercuts. Not yet. Not yet I haven't, but maybe. Yeah. But that's why I cut my own hair now, man, because I can trust myself, and if I fuck up, I own it. I know there's been a lot of silliness going around, but I do want to be sincere for a second and just say you nailed the haircuts. They Thank look you. really good. Very nice and tight. I feel like you could have your own hair salon. So Not salon. Barbershop. Sorry. Barbershop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fuck it. Salon. I don't know. Fuck it, dude. Fuck salon, it. barbershop. People pay. People <laughs> Pay, and that's where you really get top notch. Because if you have a barber shop, then it's like twelve bucks to get your hair cut. But if you have a salon, it's like a hundred bucks minimum. It's a hundred bucks to walk in the door and reserve a seat to get some air. To just get some air, they're like that would be twenty five dollar. Can I just get some air Can in here, please? Just a little bit of H two O. Would you just? Have a seat over there. I'll be paying you. I'll be charging you by the minute. And I'll, be, yeah. And I'll be like, well, okay. Do you have like a special canister for that? And like, yeah, we've got some special mountain air. It helps with the the vascular fluids that go straight to your follicles for healthier, voluminous hair. I approve this message you see we could be a doctor together we could definitely be god damn. yeah i almost felt like going owen you were one. totally going hey, owen wilson hey everybody welcome to my salon wow <laughs> what when would you, you call it i'd call it 
I don't know. No. Call it, oh, wow. Follicle crashers, because we just crash oh. with those follicles. We shave time from your day, because you don't have to cut your own hair. Wait, and you're like, wow, what are you doing? I'm like, a razor fade. Wow. And you're like, I don't, like, I don't look like a dog anymore. And I'm like, yeah, I've, I've been around dogs. I've been around Marley. He's a good dog. Well, he's a dead dog now. I don't Aww. spoiler alert. But been around Marley I've been and al- me. I've been around Marley. Marley's been around me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I cut hair now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wrapped up in a nice little bow. <laughs> Twi- I'll call it twisted scissors because it's kind of, and the the, <laughs> the scissors will be kind of like my nose. Just you never know where it's gonna go. And and we and you play twisted sister in the salon. We don't wanna fade it. No, no, we, we do don't want to fade, fade it. it. Wow, that's great. We don't want to <laughs> fade it anymore. anymore. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. And it's going to be me and my brother Luke. <laughs> and I don't know if we have another brother. But we'll be like Twisted Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> twisted Brothers? <laughs> we'll be playing Twister. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be, we'll be twisted brother playing twist i can't do an owen wilson but i'm, I'm trying to do matter. i'm trying to do gavin doing owen wilson that's be- can we, you do a luke wilson we could be owen and luke i feel like i gotta pack my cheeks with something <laughs> yes yeah i don't know about that yeah i don't know about that i don't know why for some reason i think that he says i don't know about that he always, yeah, it, that's his thing. That's l- what Luke Wilson's thing is. He... For the record, the Wilson brothers are are fantastic. They're they are treasures. A damn marvel in this universe yeah. that we have. They Owen Wilson. I felt you know. I, I actually I looked up to him a lot because I said, okay, this guy he talks like a freak, <laughs> and his nose is busted up in so many places. He's not what you would call a perfect looking gentleman and i think we all have flaws Maybe he most of us is the perfect looking gentleman and we're all fucked in the face to me well it's, i thought i was a little <laughs> fucked in the face and i thought <laughs> we'll role play that one later but i feel like i feel like <laughs> there's a lot of trauma i need to get through yeah, but i felt like you know what i might have some defects too and there's a chance for me to be on there with marley or whoever i want i can follow those dreams you know so that's what i thought but anyway owen wilson you're right wilson brothers treasure treasure Absolute treasure for sure yeah anyway tr- more trash or treasures um canadians we talked about canadians we didn't really though do you want to go back what else is we- on your list seeing it seeing as we've got like a little <clears throat> bit of time left if you have a list of topics the only one i the only other one i had was Christmas tree. Okay. Trash. That's my first instinct. Trash. Now, in the year 2021, I'm not able to answer this question. Okay. Good thing you've escaped the clutches of the adorable, now dead kitten. Unfortunately, I will also not be able to answer this question in 2022. Holy fuck. Because people might think that it's a war on Christmas thing. And that is not the case. <clears throat> I've not grown up with a Christmas tree. Okay. So I I couldn't say. I, I'm going to go with treasure. Actually. Really? Yes, I wait, am. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Treasure. I'm Why? Go, because I know that for a lot of families, for as long as we've been alive... The Christmas tree has been a symbol. It has been an institution in households. It brings joy to those families. They open presents around the tree. They decor- decorate the tree. They make it look beautiful. It's very symbolic, and it means a lot to families. They have a lot of nostalgic memories about past Christmas trees. Sure. And I think sure. that that by itself, it's a very positive thing. So... I could see that, you know, lugging in a a pine tree every year and lugging it out, it could be kind of hectic, maybe a little messy and such. 
but I think that for right. the for the two weeks that you get to enjoy sure. a Christmas tree in your house with your family, I think worth it. I could I could see why <clears throat> that is important. It's a tradition, and a tradition is a treasure, unless you have like a tradition of genocide. Then that's not that's not a treasure. That's a that's that's an outdated tradition. Well. I think. May I introduce the idea? Well said, Gavin, by the way. Very articulate, good points. May I introduce the idea that, you know, maybe murdering all these pines and firs may be a genocide in its own. Good Lord. And I, what I always like to do is put myself in the roots of somebody else. Yeah. And so I was putting myself in the roots of these spruces. Yeah. And these firs. And I was thinking, what if... My family, my fur family, yeah. we were just chilling in the forest, having the greatest of times, Furries. doing our favorite activity, yeah, slowly growing. And then these little fleshy blobs with these cute little hats and jackets come, these puffy jackets, and they just start hacking down mom. Violent fuck. And mom's like, stop. And I just have, to, I'm sitting there. Are standing there apparently, and I'm standing there, and You're I can't. Rooted do, there, I'm rooted. Yeah. I'm rooted, and I'm not rooting for them. I'm rooting for mom. And I'm like, mom, stay strong. There's no way they're gonna get you. And then the, the the bigger blob, he gets tired, and then he takes off. He puts down his axe. Mom's about dug in, fourteen millimeters, and then he's like, I can't do this. And I'm like, yes, they gave up, mom. You stood the test. And then he pulls out the chainsaw. <sighs> And then all okay, loose. okay, okay. Mom gone. And then you know what happens to mom? Does she get a proper burial? No, no. They put her in the middle of their house, and they just start putting things on her. You forgot the traumatic moment where they tire to the hood of their car and drive away in front of you. You're and right. You're just screaming, mom, mom, mom! come back. Please! And they're just increasing speed in an a quote unquote automobile. Yes, yes, exactly. And as much as I scream and just squirt out sap to try and defend myself and my mom, mom's gone. Mom's going with the Hendersons. You thought she was evergreen. I thought she was evergreen, but nay, she is deciduous, and they decidue us a lot and cut us down they hacked us yeah so uh you've kind of turned me you're kind of right to add insult to injury they're they're killing all of these trees in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of sweet baby jesus do you think do you, maybe that was a mixed message that didn't get sent down correctly do you think in the scripture of mark he said thou shalt hack down families of trees and you put it you drive home with it and you just put it there and you hang shit on it and then you throw it away you just throw it in an incinerator is that what jesus have wanted probably maybe i don't know you know during the pandemic uh i was asking myself when i saw the the supermarkets with the aisles and aisles of empty shelves where toilet paper used to be I asked myself, is this what Jesus wanted? You know, there's a there's a degree of separation, you know. Papers come from trees, right? You're right, you're right. Maybe it's all a conspiracy. <clears throat> so, damn, maybe you are right. What is, damn, dude, what do we do that's good for trees? We desecrate trees. We take them in our house and hang shit on them we write all over them we wipe our ass our tushy the dirtiest part of our body yeah all over them and if you have dogs you take them on walks to find trees so they can piss and defecate on them that's right dude the war on trees it's it's a tradition it's a tradition tradition <laughs> we're committing tree aside. And on that note, is this a good time to end? <laughs> I, yeah, I feel like this is a good time to extend an olive branch, but that I just broke off a tree. 
but we'll leave it for another time and like say, it. Gavin, thank you so much for joining the pod. It thank was you. wonderful to have you. Do you have anything to plug that I can post after the date? Well, can I make a recommendation to Please. all all of your legions of followers and listeners? Please. Uh, this this new year, plant a tree. How about that? No. And then Aww. also uh, in July. I released an EP of my satirical hip hop alter ego oh. cell phone and I've been really bad about promoting it, but it would mean the world to me if people would take a listen. Uh, the EP is available on iTunes and Spotify and Bandcamp. Oh, yeah. even Bandcamp. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. And it, it's, uh, you know, it's less than four bucks. Maybe there's some good stuff in there that you'd like. And uh, I'm going to be releasing s uh, another single very soon. Oh, man. Super excited about that. And guys, how much do you usually spend on a cell phone? Not four bucks. Not, so I think not I'll put, less than four bucks. I'll put the links. Yeah, that, not less than four bucks. That's right. And uh, I'll put the link in the show notes so you guys can listen to the sweet, dulcet tunes of cell phone. It's very good. I've listened myself. And it is popping. And who knows? Maybe your boy Steph will make an appearance, L aka Big Beeper. That's is that is that your is that your <laughs> stage name? Cell phone and Big Beeper. I feel uh, like just freaking love that. So complimentary. Yeah. You know? Oh, dude. You know what? It's gonna happen now. I'm manifesting I insist. it. This is 2022, I so I feel like we're gonna make it happen. You could just be the hype man. Uh, we'll have to come up with other things whoa, other whoa. than yeah and what for you to say. Hey, even if it's just yeah or what or beep beep, uh, I could, <laughs> yo beep beep, <laughs> big beeper in the house. Is that good? I smell platinum. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought it had an odor, but yes, it does. Oh my god, who knew? <laughs> who knew that beepers and platinum <laughs> and cell phones smell the same? And then I guess I'm on Instagram. Um, I'm on there oh, yeah. occasionally, you know, sometimes Great. I do stand up. I'm just finishing like a break, uh, where I told, uh, all the club owners that I, I wouldn't be performing until 2022. 2022. So if they, if they call me and ask me to appear on stage and perform stand up comedy jokes, I may consider it. Um, but if I reach out to them and ask, can I go to your stage and perform stand-up comedy jokes uh, then i'll post those on instagram and you'll know where and when beautiful beautiful what a way to promote that's how you do it ladies and gentlemen oh you can also do it like this like if you want i mean it's not really a big deal. i wouldn't <clears throat> actually that's how you ease them it. into it because yeah. if you're like follow me yeah. then people you know, get you know what don't follow me i don't care yeah, you hear that? You know the what? Links? I'm gonna. I'm, I might even delete it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna interrupt you, but fuck Instagram. Yeah, fuck Instagram. And you know what? I'm not even gonna put the link in the show notes. You guys yeah. are gonna have to find it. Don't. I don't. If find you it. do, I will sue your ass. <laughs> we will cut your hair so short. We will make you cut it. We will get you for a beard trim. We're gonna put your neck back. And then we're gonna trim your beard really nicely, and you're gonna tip us. That's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. We're not, we're not, we're not assholes. We're not a couple of Tracys. We're not Tracys, okay? Yeah. We're Owen and Luke Wilson. Yeah. 